Great stuff. Okay, so this is the first live video I have done in like forever. And um, yeah, it's just a trial run just to see, um, you know, how we can start uh, beefing up our content. My name is Prosper Tarovinga and you're watching this on um, Facebook Live, uh, courtesy of Live Long Digital, which happens to be a digital um, company that helps you start, scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And today we're just going to be talking about how the rules of social media have actually not changed, even though the algorithms um, have since changed and obviously have, um, you know, become um, difficult for some people to actually jump into uh, those that are late bloomers when it comes to social media. So um, my background basically has um, been working with small to medium businesses, maybe like yourself, that are looking to um, establish themselves. And my message really is to help you, like I said, start, scale and grow a business so that it becomes profitable and you actually enjoy it. And the biggest frustration that a lot of people are you know, coming across is, they don't quite know how to act or who to be, um, you know, when they're in the social media space. And also, I just want to break it down for you that it's it's not as difficult as uh, people want it to seem like, or it's not as hard as as you put it out to be. Okay, so as you would understand, I was actually looking and. Um, <laughs> I was laughing at myself. I'm actually older than the internet or when the internet was discovered. Um, and I think the internet is probably 25, 26 years old now. And a lot of us are older than that by 10, 15, 20, 30 or 40 years. So this is something that came onto us. So we had to learn it. And if you really ask me, some of the prof, um, you know, platforms that we're using like uh, Facebook, you know, Instagram, LinkedIn. LinkedIn is actually 14 years old. Can you actually believe that you know so it's things like that that gets you to understand that we're all learning um, you know we're all trying and we're all trying to figure out how we can be do and have or even get in touch with the people that are supposed to be our clients or the people that are supposed to be paying us um, in order for us to get um, you know this um, you know, you know, get this business that we're going through. So every morning, this is what happens to me. Every single morning I wake up and I look at my maybe Facebook or emails just to see who has thought of me while I was sleeping as we operate a global business. So some people are still up or whichever way they might still be communicating with us. So I wake up and um, I look at my Facebook and half the time, um, you know, I, I, I stumble upon memories of things that I posted maybe a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, even 11 years ago. Um, it's getting there. That's when I jumped onto Facebook. All right. So you wouldn't be astonished to find that you grow as a person. You become um, that which you, you yearn for. Sometimes I was writing, oh, I wish I could be able to, you know, fly and go someplace else. And now I'm here and it's happening. And what normally happens is when you look back, at those memories, you notice you're still the same person, you still have the same values, you still may be still talking to the same people, or those people have since moved on, but you're still the same person, nothing has changed, maybe the device that you're seeing or watching this from is the only thing that has changed, or maybe, um, you know, the time or the frequency that you're uh, jumping onto the platform is the thing that has changed, or maybe the algorithm has changed, but the rules, the basics, everything still is the same, you have to be human, you have to connect to people on a human level, you have to connect to people and create for and relate to people if you're going to be demanding money off of them. So that's just about it. The, the, the algorithms might change, but the rules are still the same. We're talking to people. We're connecting with other human beings. We're reaching out to people that might help us or that might, um, you know, because as humans, we're societal beings. You know what I mean? We depend on other people, um, you know, in order to, to, to thrive. Babies, if they're not hugged or cuddled, they die. Apparently, according to science, this is not just from my own thinking. So people, as, as, as humans, we need each other. We're societal beings. We thrive from um, other people seeing us, other people respecting us, other people helping us. Now, what are we doing and how are we instigating all of that through our media channels? You know, just because you are on the other side of the screen, it doesn't mean that you cannot be seen. 
Oh, that's like a rhyme, isn't it? That's because you're on the other side of the screen. It doesn't mean you cannot be seen. Just because you're on the other side of the screen it doesn't mean you cannot scream. All right. So you want to be able to make sure that when people reach out to you as a business, you are actually, um, you know, being there for them. Show them you can help them by actually helping them. All right. How are people going to know what you're good at or what you're good for if you're not going to show them firsthand? You know, so you want to utilize social media because it's 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 all it's all relative to who you want to become. Nobody's just going to pay you money just because they like you as a person. People are too busy, you know, in their own hands. People are too busy with their own stuff. All right. So I stumbled upon a video that of me that I was talking about business and how you can better use social media to actually connect meaningfully with with people. And I was laughing. I mean, we're talking about maybe three years ago when I was still really starting and, um, you know, um, you know, video was still being introduced onto onto us, you know. A lot of people were not using Facebook that way. People were coming to Facebook to um, gossip. People were coming to Facebook to catch up on their exes. They were not using Facebook as a business outlet, you know? And people were going to places like Twitter and, and blogs were only just becoming mainstream, you know? So all that, 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 that I'm trying to say right now is that that's, that's like ages ago. The way the algorithms have changed, it's like far, far away before you could actually just point your camera and show people how your day is going without even talking to them through stories. You know what I mean? But that's not ages ago. That's only about three years ago. So the rules that I shared um, maybe about four or five years ago, they still ring true today. You know? The one thing you really got to be is people have a short attention span. So you really want to make sure and find out which social media platform do your um, customers reside. You don't want to be seen on Instagram if your customers are on LinkedIn. You don't want to be seen on Facebook when your customers are on Snapchat. It's pointless to be speaking to an empty theater and it's a waste of time, money and effort. And you soon, um, you know, burn out because you don't know if what you're saying or what you're doing is right because you're not getting the reciprocity, um, you know, or the feedback from people saying we love your stuff or they're sharing your content, you know? I mean, back then, like what I'm talking about, back then, um, back then, like what I'm talking about, you know, if, if your customers were listening to you on podcasts or if they were reading blogs or if they were using YouTube, um, you know, then your business was meant to have been because people come to the Internet to get information. And if your business is providing that information, guess what? They get to know you, like you and trust you. So for you not to waste resources, for you not to be just maybe omnipresent, omnipresent, <laughs> omnipresent for no reason, you got to make sure that your efforts are all being reciprocated, you know? And it's true today, as it was yesterday, as it will be tomorrow. Be where your customers are. Help them while, help them find you. It's easier these days because with social media, um, smaller companies can actually look bigger and bigger companies can become more personable. So depending on where you are in business right now, you want to make sure that the people that you're going to be demanding money off of are the people that you're going to be creating for and relating to. You know what I mean? Because every business, no matter what size you are, you have the same access to the social media platforms um, and many other platforms that cost no money at all. So there's no reason for you to be actually creating stuff to bring people closer to you. I always talk about how whenever you put content out there, there's the awareness stage where people become aware of what your brand does and how you can help them. And then there's the discovery stage where people actually discover and make a decision whether they want to continue listening to your stuff or not. And then, um, you know, and then there's the consideration stage where they're actually considering whether they want to keep, you know, listening to you. Do you have the value that they're looking for? And then they convert. All right. So if you really put those things, it's like ACDC, the, um, the, the Australian band. All right. So every business, no matter what size, you know, that they, 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 they you are right now or no matter w w what capacity or how much your reach is, we all have access to the same tools. 
So instead of you consuming content from other business people, create content for the ones that you want to relate to. All right. So all these platforms cost no money. And the rule is, you know, when you're using social media, engage more on a personal level and on a human level. Because at the end of the day, you are talking to humans. They have blood, they have feelings, they have hopes, aspirations, and dreams. And that's what you as an entrepreneur, you're meant to be serving them. All right? So you want to connect to people at a human level. Don't speak to people. Or, I mean, don't speak at people. Speak with your people. All right? Those people that are going to be, um, you know, um, helping you grow. Because you owe them. Them watching your stuff, commenting, sharing, liking, they don't owe you anything. You owe them that. They could be doing something else with their life. You know? So if you're using video or using blogger, you, you can actually compete at the same level as other bigger businesses. Why not you? Okay? So today's small brands, depending on where your audience is, you could be using Snapchat. You could actually look bigger than you are. Look at Kylie Jenner. She went in and created a billion dollar enterprise all because of Instagram. Because she knows where her audience is. So find out exactly who your audience are, what you need to feed them, and then just go out there and serve them like your life depends on it. Because it does. It actually does. All right. So sometimes people come to me and they're like, oh, sorry, I don't have the same... Um, you know, confidence that you have. Anania Mangea, thank you so much for tuning in. Can you type in where you are tuning in from just so that I have an understanding of who the audience is? Some people say, oh, I lack confidence. So that's why I don't do social media. But do you lack confidence when you're looking at your bank account? You know, why, why would you think somebody would go out of their way to watch your stuff, to comment, follow you if you are not giving them anything else? So the real issue here is you actually have to be re vulnerable. Show people who you are by 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 being who you are and, and in the process. In the process, you actually show them that you can help them by actually help them, helping them. Anani, thank you so much. Hope you had a good weekend and the family over there. You know? You know? And 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 by sharing your brand's voice, people get to know how they can relate to you. People get to understand and you actually, nobody hates you. Let me tell you one thing for sure. Kids have imaginary friends and adults have imaginary enemies. Everybody's busy, worried about how can, what's in it for them to follow you? What's in it for them to watch your stuff? Give them what, what it is for them. You know? You know? Because <clears throat> at the end of the day, you might cancel your, 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 your content. You might save somebody's life. You know, my values are to leave, learn and to contribute. So every time I contribute something, it shows me that what I'm doing is, is meaningful. What I'm doing is needed. You know, and half of the time when you do show up, please be genuine. Because with social media these days, you can't really hide a lot. If you try and hide the truth, someone will find it out. So transparency and vulnerability, it actually makes you easier to relate to and you can actually start being, doing and having a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable, you know? So the rules are still the same. Go out there, create content that people really enjoy, um, you know, watching, commenting and sharing. And at the end of the day, if you can, Tanya, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you've been well. I haven't been doing videos in a while, but this just... Um, you know, came up. So businesses are becoming bigger. People are getting, um, you know, people are connecting at, at a more different level. So if you're not presenting yourself on social media, you're totally missing out. So make this your, um, you know, your weekly goal this week that you really want to go out there and make sure that you, 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 you clean up your profiles. Everybody knows who you are, what you do and how you can help them. At the end of the day, you know, we're all here to, to, to live, learn, grow, and have businesses that are profitable. So if you're not utilizing your social media, which is a free channel, how else do you expect to reach to your audience? How else do you expect to convert? How else do you expect people to trust you if you're not showing up on your, um, you know, on, 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 on whatever free channels that are, are possible? 
I may not have been showing up on, 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 on Facebook Live because the channel has been so corrupted. So many people, too much noise, you know? And now I'm just showing up to people that I think it's relevant to. So if you're still shy, this is now what, 2018? Even my three-year-old, she doesn't do anything without wanting a photo of it. That shows you the direction of where things are going. Document everything that's happening so that people can actually understand how you can help them by actually helping them. It's a Monday today. I hope this has been um, fruitful. I just thought I'd go live. You know what I mean? I haven't done it for a while. And then maybe let's make this um, a, a general sort of thing that we'll be doing in and out. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Let me know what you want to discover. Let me know what you, you think might help you so that we can continue these conversations and actually help you by actually helping you. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.